So this is going to be episode two of the Tim Zoo saga with the undisputed 54 belts. Um, I'm going to figure out basically with Bacaron in the mix. He's been in the mix. And I'm going to focus on some information about uh, Bacaron and Tim Zoo today. So Tim Zoo's promoter around this time last year he was just now starting to realize that Bacaron had a contract with uh, Jamel Charlo. And he was obviously confused because he's saying, and the promoter name is Matt Rose, he said, well, I have a contract as well with Charlo to fight. And that fight should be coming up soon. And Bacaron's people was trying to argue, well, we've been waiting on Charlo since 2020. And it's 2022, and we try, we need to get the fight. We're, we're next and stuff like that, which is cool. I'm not going to focus on Charlo this fight. I mean, this video. But with Bacaron, why am I seeing that he's talking about Tim Zhu is scared of him, scared to fight him? Why are you saying that Tim Zhu is scared to fight you? What has Tim Zhu done in the last two or three years that shows you that he's scared to fight you? See, this is what I try to tell you guys. And it's not just Charlo. It's not a it's not a Charlo thing. A lot of these guys do it. Whether you are you can be the best like Canelo. Canelo has done it. A lot of guys have done it. What has Tim do? What has Tim Zoo done to say uh, he's scared of you? Because from what I've seen, he just fought three top ten contenders, and the guy you just, you fought last, um, the the guy you fought last, uh, Xander Zayas just beat up real bad. So how, I'm I'm trying to figure out who on your resume has prepared you to the point where you feel like that Tim Zoo would be scared of you. Bro, Xander Zayas is 21 years old at 54, and he just beat the crap out of your best opponent. Dude can't even finish the fight. And you can't even stop that same guy. So, Bakaram is trying to tell me that Tim Zhu is scared to fight him. If Tim Zhu, that's that's obviously false. If Tim Zhu was scared to fight you, why would he take the fight? Why would he say, uh, come fight him January? Do you guys know that Bakaram was supposed to fight... Tim Zhu instead of Tony Harrison. That's why I try to tell people Tony Harrison, he took the fight at the last minute. He wasn't preparing for the fight like he was in the championship. Bacaron was supposed to be the real guy who was supposed to jump in the ring, prepare for the fight, and come fight. He already knew about the fight in what, January, November? He was already, well, way before that. I would say since the since this time last year, Bacaron had knew about the Tim Zhu fight. And he didn't look at Tim Zhu as, yeah, let's get this out the way now. So, Tim Zhu was on some stuff like, this is what Tim Zhu said to Bacaron. He said, if I get the belts before you, you're going to have the first chance to fight me for the belts. And then Bacaron's like, no, I want to fight Charlo first. And then Bacaron goes from saying he wants to fight Charlo to then saying, well, if Tim Zhu gets the belts, He's just going to vacate because he's not going to want to fight me anyway. Um, so you think he has a chance of getting the belts? But now Tim Zhu has a belt. And his other excuse was, why would I fight for one belt when I can try to get all of them? Well, fight Charlo for most of them or all of them. I don't know if he was stripped of that other belt yet. No, he wasn't stripped of the other belt yet. He was like, why would I fight for one belt when I can fight for all of them? Which is true. That is true. But if you say a guy is scared of you and the guy offers to fight you and you don't fight him and he goes on to fight Tony Harrison, um, Ocampo, and then goes fight Mendoza, uh, it's not really looking too good for Bacaron right now. I feel like he's trying to wait out uh, the process as far as with Charlo. Cause he's taking step aside money like three or four, like three or four times already. So with the Bacaron thing, 
I feel like that situation, Tim Zoo's definitely has that man shook. He's scared of Tim Zoo. He knows about Tim Zoo. He probably knows more about Tim Zoo than everybody out here. And to say that he's uh scared of you, that's obviously false. Why would he be scared of you and he promises to fight you? He promises to fight you. Not to say, oh, we'll see and if I get the belts. No, he's saying, I'm going to get the belts and you're going to be the first one I'll fight. But since we know that Bakaram is now in a situation where he has a contract first with Charlo, Tim Zhu basically knows that Bakaram could be basically be in the way. But he knows that Bakaram's scared, though. You could have fought that man in, in January, and you're going to turn around, and you're going to say he, he, he's scared of you. I don't even think Charlo said Tim Zhu's scared of him. That's how ridiculous what Bakaram said. Charlo, uh, Tim Zhu scared of me. And Tim Zhu, if he fights Charlo, he's going to get knocked down in the eighth, eighth round with a straight right. Not only did he say Tim Zhu was scared of him, he said if Tim Zhu fights him, he's going to get knocked down in the eighth round with a straight right. And Tim Zhu has been officially waiting on this man 12 months. Last January, he was supposed to fight him instead of Tony Harrison. Bakaran didn't want to get Tim Zhu out the way. Now, can one, anyone ask me, man, tell me, why would a guy not fight a guy for a belt? And you've been waiting on those same belts for months and months? Why would you not fight them? You've been waiting on those same belts. These the same guys that been calling each other out. Why would you not go fire them? You know why? Because he's scared of Tim Zoo. He knows Tim Zoo's a threat. He does not want to give up his opportunity of becoming undisputed. He wants Tim, he wants Charlo and Tim Zoo to basically um, move on and vacate the belts. He just wants to hold his position. And it's funny because Tim Zhu is basically going to run to the same situation when he gets to 160. And I love it because now you have guys at 154 doing the same thing that Jennifer is doing at 60. Nobody wants to fight me. So let's get this straight. So nobody wants to fight Bakaram at 54. Nobody wants to fight uh, Jennifer at 160. Who believes that out here? You really think that Tim Zhu ducking Bakaram and, and he just promised you a fight in January? I don't understand. Tim Zhu has done a lot of uh, things in the division lately that showed me he's the king of the division right now. Just the fact that you have two guys that's your mandatory telling you that you're scared. <laughs> I mean, that, uh, yeah, that you're scared of them. Well, no, you only have one guy saying you're scared. I don't know what Charlo's basically saying. But Bakaram says he's scared. Tim Zhu's fought this more this year. Um, he's fought higher competition than Bakaram's ever faced in his career. But he's scared? That doesn't make any sense to me. And another thing that doesn't make any sense, why does Bakaram keep taking step-aside money? And he says, basically, he won't fight anybody unless it's Jamel Charlo. The only way that basically Tim Zhu, he'll fight Tim Zhu is if, because Tim Zhu's already offered to fight him. Tim Zhu will fight anybody, bro. I'm telling you, Tim Zhu will literally fight anybody. He offered this man a contract in January. Now Bakaram has the uh, mandatory for Charlo. I hope Charlo doesn't take the mandatory to drop the belts. Because then... We will see what I predicted, which would be a Tim Zoo Bakaram straight head to head matchup. And Bakaram, I don't feel like he's uh prepared for what Tim Zoo has bring to the table. Tim Zoo's fought too many guys this year, too many. And the guys he's fought this year are high level guys. And then for Bakaram to be sitting on the shelf like this, and you talking about um the one fight you had, nah, that's not gonna prepare you for what. Wants to come, and he knows this. 
and Bakaram's the same guy who tried to uh, stop Tim Zhu from even, even getting a chance to fight Charlo for the uh, mandatory. And what and what the uh, people had to tell him was, yeah, we've agreed to fight with that uh, with Charlo, but that's just a mandatory. Basically, yeah, you're gonna fight for all the belts, but. You're not in a situation where you cannot fight Tim Zhu, though. So to just t- turn down the whole fight, it just really doesn't make any sense. We've had uh, we've had other guys who've turned around and fought another person when they were supposed to go straight to the champion. It's happened plenty of times before in history. I don't think Bakarom and his people are used to being in this position. So they're milking it, taking step aside money. Who knows how many millions they've took and set step aside money. But uh, it's been, what, 2020? It's been like three years. So they probably took a lot of money uh, for step aside. But um, if that doesn't happen as far as um, they haven't stepped in the fight by November 9th, uh, if that fight doesn't happen, then... I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, they could order uh, Charlo to fight Bakaram again, but that doesn't make any sense. I feel like now the IBF is kind of protecting Bakaram. Let me tell you why. They were supposed to strip Charlo last year, so for the belt. And they already said they was going to strip him and all the other stuff, and then they still – Putting another fight out there. See, what's going on right now is Bakaron wants the IBF to make him fight Charlo. This might sound stupid, but Bakaron, he's he's saying that, uh, yeah, Charlo, um, he's going to win and he's the harder fight and all the other stuff. Bro, he don't want to fight Tim Zoo. He does not want to fight Tim Zoo. He could have fought, been fought Tim Zoo. If he would have, if he would have be uh fought Tim Zoo in January and beat him, we wouldn't even be hearing about Tim Zoo right now. He does not want to fight him. He's definitely gonna do everything in his power. His people have, has been doing everything in their power to avoid Tim Zoo. They already said last year. Well, we didn't know that we signed a contract to fight Charlo and Bakaron fight signed the contract to fight Charlo. Then when January they say, well. We could fight walk around in January. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to fight Charlo. I ain't finna fight uh, Tim Zhu. I'd rather fight for more belts. It only makes sense, which it does. It does make sense. You wait that long. It does make sense. What doesn't make sense is having these people reorder the fight again after you sign the contract to have him vacate the belts. See, what y'all don't realize is if he would have Forced, uh, told them, hey, we signed the contract, and those belts should be mine. By contract, those belts should be mine. I don't think he begged for that belt because he know Tim Zoo would have came with it. So he's like, ah, if I just sit back and relax and let Tim Zoo do all the work. That's basically what's going on. Walk around letting Tim Zoo do all the work. He's sitting back, letting him clean out the division. He's like, yeah, that guy's not in my rankings. He's not in my, on my side. But, yeah, you can beat him, too. He might be a problem in the future. Yeah, get rid of Tony Harrison, Brian Mendoza, Ocampo. I don't want to fight those guys anyway. I've been waiting on Charlo three years. If I wanted to fight those guys, I would have been fought him. And he hasn't fought him. You know who asked him, too. So, basically, what's going to happen now is they're going to wait on this bid or this fight bid or this scheduled fight. That's basically, I don't think it's going to happen. If it does happen, that's going to be great for me. I want to see more fights. I don't think it's going to happen. Charlotte hasn't even said this guy's name. I don't even know if he knows who the guy is, even though he signed the contract. Probably does. Um, but you have you noticed, though, even though this guy's – They've been waiting to fight this guy for three years. Nobody brings his name up like they bring up Tim Zoo. 
And then when you hear him react to Tim Zoo, he gets very mad. He gets very angry. He gets very upset. So it's a big difference between what Charlo does and what these other guys do. Walking around saying Tim Zoo is scared of him is probably the worst thing he can say about him. Being scared? I, and he said all this before he had all the fights this year, so we're going to keep that in context. He didn't. He didn't think Tim Zhu would clean out the division. But now he's t- kind of thinking like, well, let me just be quiet and try to reorder this Charlo fight again. I don't want to fight Tim Zhu right now. He doesn't want to fight Tim Zhu. That's why I know he's the one who's, him and his team were the ones that be like, told the IBF, hey, could you reorder that fight again? Could you reorder the the Charlo fight? We don't want to uh, v- make Charlo vacate. And then if we vacate, that means... Like I said in my last video, if they vacate, if Charlo vacates the belt, that means Tim Zhu will have to fight for that also, that vacated belt. And Bakaram is doing everything in his power to avoid Tim Zhu. Period. And it's just going to have everything slow down. But Tim Zhu has a belt right now. So you can do everything that you want to do and take as long as you need to and Try to snow it down or try to force Charlo to fight again and give him an option. He doesn't want to fight you. He doesn't want to fight you. He said he's only taking big fights. And you're definitely not a big fight, especially not bigger than Tim Zhu. Says if he's not going to fight Tim Zhu, why would Charlo fight you? I don't, I don't understand. And I don't stand, understand why Bakaron waited around three years. Then Bakaron says, well, they should have fought me at 27 years old. Now I'm 30. Bro, y'all going to say the same thing about Tim Zhu. <laughs> In a minute, you're going to be saying the same thing about Tim Zhu. Because he's the one who's actually fighting competition that's sharpening his skills. How can a guy be ranked for so long and not fight any high competition? Um, I don't feel like certain guys should be able to sit in a position where, especially now that I see it, Charlo's literally only been fighting what one time, one time a year since 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. He's only been fighting one time a year. So if we're going to be on schedule, he's not going to fight until next year, next summer. And those belts aren't going to um, – he's not going to fight for the belt. I feel like at this point, Bacaron's basically using him as a distraction. He knows what's going on. He's been dealing with uh, Jamel Charlo longer than uh, Tim Zhu has. And Tim Zhu basically has every opportunity to shut down Bacaron. Bacaron's career is basically on the line just as much as Charlo. Charlo's solidified in boxing already. But Bacaron, he hasn't been solidified to the point where he's saying that Tim Zhu's scared of him and all that, all those different things. Why would he be scared of you? You just got in the ring with a whole bunch of guys that nobody knows, and they just went 12 rounds with you. And they weren't scared of you. But you're trying to tell me the guy at the top of his game, one of the top boxers right now, one of the top young guys right now, you're trying to tell me he's scared of you? See, I don't like that when guys from other countries try to dictate a guy from another country if he's scared or what kind of man he is and different things like that in boxing. Why why would a guy who offer you a fight at his own weight class for a belt that he hasn't even received yet? Why would he do all that? And for you to turn around and say he's scared. Now if I give you every if I offer you everything I got in the bank to come take it, and you say, Nah, you're scared. That proves that you're scared. Bakaram is in fear of this man. I don't know why young guys, you know what's crazy? A lot of young guys these days, they have a lot of older boxers afraid for their career. They don't want to face them. They don't want to do anything to hurt their careers or face them in the long run. He had a lot of different ways that he could have went about this. And fighting um, Tim Zhu in January would have definitely change the landscape of boxing. He'll be the guy right now. If Bacaron would have beat Tim Zhu in January and went on to beat um, Ocampo and uh, Mendoza, he'll be the man right now. 
but he didn't even take those options. He's just doing other things that doesn't even have to deal with those type of guys. And I'm I don't understand what's the big deal about everything going on as far as uh why we have to wait so much on guys that aren't even proven. Let's be honest, these guys aren't even world champions before. Why does Tim Zoo have to work wait on you? What have you done? You haven't even beat anybody. He has a name. Tim Zoo at least he beat what? He beat what uh Jeff Horn years ago before you was even in the picture for uh this uh this belt. Well well, I wouldn't say that. Bakaram's been waiting on the belt since twenty twenty, so he's been waiting forever. He's been waiting on Charlo for years before Tim Zoo was. And that's sad because Tim Zoo offered you a fight. And for you to turn it down and say, nah, I think I got my own thing going on. I think I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Dude doesn't know what he's got what he has going on. He doesn't even know um what will happen uh at 154 if he tries to avoid uh Tim Zoo. And he's doing it all, with all his power. So this is my question here. I don't think Charlo's gonna fight with the first bid and everything coming up. It's kind of weird they have a first bid. It's kind of weird. I think they're trying to just push back time, trying to hold things off. But uh, I think Tim Zhu is gonna uh, wait on Bach around, see what he's gonna do because uh, he's cleaned everybody else out. Uh, forget about the Erickson Lubin thing. I don't think that. Should be an option right now. Because Baccarons accused this man of being scared. And uh, I think we have to basically uh, pay attention to that first. Because the only person I feel like is scared is him and uh, Charlo. Fight one time a year. Okay, Charlo, for the last four years. Bro, you got to realize, Tank and Canelo is fighting like two or three times a year. And Charlo's been fighting one time a year when Undisputed. Nah, that's crazy. And um, he hasn't been injured that many times. And um, if he has, that definitely needs to le le uh, give up the belt then. But um, from what I'm looking at in the landscape, like I said before, Tim Zhu is going to be a barometer for all this stuff. He's going to make sure that these guys like uh, Bakaram and Janovic, that they uh, – Basically, stop this talk of, oh, nobody wants to fight me. I'm a boogeyman, and they're afraid. Just jump in the ring like uh, Tim Zhu's doing. Prove yourself like Tim Zhu's doing, and basically make sure that everything is on the up and up, and basically you get all the opportunities that you need. He's already been a mandatory, been paid well for being a step-aside guy. Now you want to see other options. Now you want to wait. Now you want to uh, see what Charlo's going to do. Doesn't make any sense, man. A lot of these guys don't want to be world champions. Their promoters don't want them to be uh, world champions. A lot of these guys, they they love step aside money. They love the step aside money. People try to say, well, get in my comments about Stanley Onis. Stanley Onis, him is promoted like step aside money too. A lot of these guys, they love step aside money. In America, a lot of fighters over here, we're not take, uh, accepting the step aside money. A lot of them do, but most of the guys who want to be want to be somebody in the future, they're not taking step aside money. That's cowardly act, especially when you know where there's a lot of other guys that's coming behind you. That's uh, that's uh, not going to be waiting on step aside money. They're trying to get a title now, and that's the that should be the only option at this point. Trying to get a title, trying to move up, trying to go through the division. But the whole thing about this guy and uh, what another guy is doing, I don't even know why Bacharan was even focused on Tim Zoo. bacharan has been focused on Tim Zoo longer than we have. Knowing about Tim Zoo and everything. I think he's not that good. He'll get knocked out and my trial on the eighth round. All the other stuff. Then Tim Zhu says, okay, come and fight me. See, Tim Zhu is a silent killer. That's why I call him Tim Tom Terminator Zoo. That's going to be his nickname. Tim the Terminator Zoo. I made that up. Don't nobody steal it. But, yeah. 
That's going to be his nickname because right now he's terminating all Lyrics. This guy, Bacharom, is getting up saying how this man is afraid of him. Tim Zhu just walked through the whole division silently, not screaming, yelling, not complaining about Charlo. See, this is why I try to tell you guys. Bacharom is an example of a fighter I don't like. Has every opportunity in front of him, but he's going to tell the man who work, who works his butt off, oh, he's scared of me. I worked hard all day in the gym building this legacy with my brother and my father. And you telling me I'm scared of you? That's the most disrespectful thing you can tell somebody in boxing. I'm scared of you. That's crazy. And then we have people that actually support these kind of narratives that go around and say, well, what is he doing? What is he doing? But then when you say, well, what is this boxer done? Because he has a bigger name. And he's fought guys that people know. Not saying that they're the best. They just fight guys that they know. Now we have to make concessions and accommodations for these guys. And we have to say, oh, well, this guy just had a pay-per-view. This guy had this. Okay. And he just looked sloppy in his last fight. Who cares about all that? You know what I'm saying? Like Tyson Fury has looked good in a lot of fights. What does his last fight tell you? It's not about what you've done before. It's about what you've done lately in boxing. And that's how it goes in every sport. A lot of people say, yeah, Jordan won six rings. But then they'll try to bring up the thing with him being with the Wizards. It's the same thing with Tim Zhu. People try to bring up, well, what has he done? And then this year has shut a lot of people up. I'm going to say, well, he's done more than you done. And right now, looking at Tim Zhu's resume, it blows Bacharan resume out the water. Matter of fact, Xander Zayez has a better resume than... uh. Then um, Bacharam right now, he's 21 years old, and Bacharam 30 at the same weight class. Get real, bro. You're not like that. You're not a threat. No one's afraid of you. Uh, You're not shutting anything down in the division. I don't know why European fighters keep leaving their countries, going to other countries, and calling people scared. That's like some of the most disrespectful stuff I hear coming out of there. That's why... The guys like Sergey Dervianchenko, that's why I love guys like that, man. You don't sit around here and hear this guy barking about, well, uh, this guy, Charlo, he's scared of me. Uh, Triple G's scared of a rematch, or he's scared of this. He's scared of this dude goes out and fights, and he shows and proves everybody why he's, the, why he's the real deal, why he's a fighter. And in my eyes, he's still one of my favorite fighters. I don't care. But, but, but I like fights like that, guys who actually fight real people. You know what I'm saying? Real fighters. I think uh, Dermot Chico just fought Munguia not too long ago, I think. Dude has a resume. like he's, And none of those guys can beat him down or beat him up. Every fight is a close fight. He basically won half of those fights. I'm just going to be real. But we see how that's going now. Tim Zhu has everybody scared. I didn't know this dude was talking about Tim Zhu was scared of him. Tim Zhu scared of you. How? I was Tim Zoo scared of you. What have you done? Like, that's why I'm trying to tell people, like, we got to start calling out what guys have actually done in the sport. I don't care who mandatory you are. I don't care about none of that. To actually sit up here and dictate who's scared and if a guy is qualified to fight you. Bro, nobody knows who Bacharam is as far as uh, a casual fan. So why would somebody want to sit up here and watch you fight Charlo? Bro, you should have been jumping in the ring with Tim Zhu. If I would have, I'm not finna wait three or four years on Charlo fight me, man. If I've been a mandatory that long. And a guy sitting up here who's in my way. Tim Zhu is in your way and you don't want to get him out of the way. He's literally the only guy in your way. Even if Charlo, bro, even if Charlo, listen to what I'm saying. Even if Charlo, if Charlo doesn't take the fight right, Tim Zhu is still going to be in his way. And he's going to try to do something like avoid him type stuff. Like, well, I have to fight another guy who's a mandatory. All that kind of crap. He's going to try to avoid him, watch. And it's going to be bad. I'm not going to lie. 
if Baccarat do, does get the belts like that, I would like to see Tim's hunt them down and slam on 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 camera in front of everybody. Because the way he's going about things, it's not going to end up well for him. I know Tim Zoo heard some of this stuff. Like, I'm scared of this guy. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> Why would I be scared of a ghost? I don't even know this guy. They do that these days, man. Just like Deontay Wilder, you can have 50 knockouts. I've heard Deontay Wilder, people say about Deontay Wilder, he's scared of Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua's getting beat up by fat guys. Undersized guys, guys who uh, can't take a body punch, and he's getting beat up by these guys. We're talking about Tim Zoo, who's running through the division, destroying guys. He's scared. Please, man. That's ridiculous. But, you know, if we don't call these things out, these same boxes will go on with these narratives. You see, I'm the only one calling out the Genovic stuff. When Tim Zoo gets the 160, who, what you think Genovic going to be saying there? Nobody wants to fight me. And Tim Zoo's going to be like, I'll fight you. Oh, what have you done? See, these guys, man, crazy. But uh, I heard Genovic was calling out Jamal Jamal Charlo recently. See, if Jamal Charlo was really like he was uh, two or three years ago, Genovic wouldn't win that fight. Guaranteed. I've seen Genovic uh, almost lose a fight recently. And Baccarat the same way. You're going 12 rounds with guys who are getting destroyed out here. That's not going to work with these young guys. <laughs> they're not They're not sitting around here pity pat boxing, relying on jabs. They're trying to knock you out and get you up out of there. That's what I like about this younger generation. These guys are going at it. And Tim Zhu's on the top of the totem pole right now. I don't feel like they'll be able to uh, stall him out no longer, though. I don't think it's really going to happen. And I'm glad he showed up in that division, bro. 154, that's what I was hoping Luvin would do, just destroy these guys. Run through that division and um, clear the whole thing out. That's what everybody just want to see. As far as the guys, we're tired of seeing guys pop up like Fendor and all these other guys. Soon they get one big win, and they'll say, well, this guy scared of me, and oh, I need this fight, and I want to fight the big fight. I need Charlo. I got tired of everybody calling out Charlo. Nobody will call out Tim Zuzo. That's definitely not happening. I can see that with Baccarat. He's a joke. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.